Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we are going to look at a different feature of GitLab that is environment. So here in this video we will try to set up a different environment to deploy the application using GitLab environment feature. That is like every organization uh, that uh, builds, uh, tests the application, they want to deploy it into different environments like dev, pre and prod. So here we will try to set up these different environments wherein the application can be uh, deployed in a controlled manner. So let us see like how we can utilize that feature in this video. So I'm currently having the following uh, servers. The Fedress server is the GitLab server. The, uh, the Kubernetes uh, cluster is uh, hosted on K8 master and K8 node. So let us see the first step. Uh, that is ensure GitLab agent for Kubernetes cluster installed. So this is uh, the step that we have already completed in our last but one video uh, and you can just go through that video on how to manage the Kubernetes cluster using GitLab CI CD workflow. So in this video like we have seen like how we can uh, install the GitLab agent for Kubernetes and manage the uh, Kubernetes cluster using the GitLab CI CD workflow and then once that is completed, you can follow the how to share the Kubernetes cluster agent with multiple uh, GitLab projects. So this is basically an optional uh, uh, blog that uh, video that you can follow, wherein we have seen like how we can share the Kubernetes agent uh, with multiple projects in the GitLab repository. So that is the prerequisite that you can complete by following these two videos. So once that is done, uh, the next step that we need to do is ensure that Kubernetes namespace exists. So for this demo, like what we are going to do is we are going to create three different namespaces for three different environments. So let's say uh, we want to deploy our application to dev, pre and production environment. So let's uh, create namespaces uh, with stack dev, stack pre and stack prod. So let me go to my uh, create cluster. So here, like we will create namespace stack dev. But I think this namespace is already existing because I have tested it. So let us try to create a different namespace stack dev one, and let us create stack pre one, and let us create stack prod one. So these are the three different namespaces in the Kubernetes cluster wherein we will be trying to deploy our application using the GitLab CI CD workflow. Now let us go into our documentation again. So we have completed our second step that is ensuring the Kubernetes namespaces exist. Now the third step is updating the CI CD pipeline. So this is a continuation to the the project that we have created in how to share Kubernetes cluster agent with multiple GitLab projects. So we are going to use the hello job project uh, to update the GitLab CI CD pipeline. Okay, so let me show you that pipeline. So let me go to my uh, GitLab server that is Fedress and go to hello job project. And here, let us open the GitLab CI.yaml file. So this is uh, the CI CD workflow that I have already updated, but let me try to explain to you. Here, like we are going to create three stages uh, for the workflow uh, and it is going to uh, do the deployment into the dev, pre and prod environments. So let us try to rename these Uh, stages so that we can try to see like what exactly is going on and let us name our jobs as same as the stage name deploy dev deploy dev and here like you can see it is going to deploy uh, into the environment development so it is a static uh, way of creating the environment using the GitLab CI CD definition file. So once you define the environment, it is going to create this environment and it is going to deploy the job like let, uh, like we are we are using a job 
uh, .yaml file to deploy into that environment. So this is the same thing that we have uh, used in our last video. Uh, we are setting the SSL certificate uh, for the cluster. Uh, we are uh, setting the context to Fedris cube and then we are going to apply the job.yaml file. So this is going to deploy to dev environment. Similarly, like we have the pre job which will deploy to pre environment and here you can see it is same and uh, we are uh, applying the job to the pre environment stack pre and uh, one thing that we need to update is the namespace is now stack pre one so let me update it and let me update the dev also because the namespace now is stack dev one okay now uh, let us go to the prod job let us update the job name and the stage name and the environment is production and here there is one more uh, one more uh, field that we have added that is when manual so this is basically uh, allowing us to control the deployment to the production environment manually so let's say that the gitlab ci cd workflow is triggered it is going to deploy to dev and pre environment but the production deployment is going to be controlled uh, by the user so the user or the developer needs to manually click on the play button to deploy to the production environment and uh, everything else remains the same and here like the namespace is going to be to, uh, going to be stack prod one so let us change it and uh, this is all that we are going to change in this yaml definition file so let me save this file and commit so let us give a message or commit comment gitlab and where and novels demo and let me push it to the repository so now we are good with the updates to the gitlab ci cd workflow let me clear my screen and go to the guide now let us go to our next step that is step 4 so in step 4 like what we are going to do is we are going to trigger the pipeline for the hello job project which we have just updated so we have updated the workflow we will try to see like which all uh, stages are going to be automatically triggered as a part of pipeline execution so in order to trigger the pipeline let us go to our gitlab server portal so let me open the url and let me log in with the dev user which we have been using to manage our projects now uh, the gitlab csd workflow that we have updated is for the hello job project so let, let us go into that job and uh, let us go to the build pipelines and now what we are going to do is we are going to trigger the pipeline and see what happens so as you can see like it has created three stages deploy dev deploy free and deploy prod let us refresh the screen so it has deployed to dev and pre environment but it has paused at the deploy prod environment because this needs to be triggered manually as we have set the field when is equal to manual in the GitLab CI CD workflow. Okay, so let us trigger this and let me open the logs for this one. And you can see like it has created the job and it has been created in the stack prod one namespace. Okay, so this is how uh, like we can 
create the environments uh, man, uh, statically in the GitLab CI/CD workflow. So now the next step is let us see like uh, what things we can validate. So we have completed our step four and we have triggered the deploy job for production also. Now the time is to validate the deployments. So we can go to operate environments. So let's go to operate environments and here you will see the three deployment uh, three environments getting created and if you expand your environments like you will see your deployments that we have just deployed using the pipeline okay so this is uh, one way like you can validate the environments wherein that the application has been deployed and we can go to the kubernetes cluster also let me clear my screen and do kubectl uh, get jobs in namespace stack del work. So you can see that it has deployed the job into the stack dev one namespace. So similarly, you can check the pre environment and the prod environment so this is how like you can use the environment feature in order to control your deployments to a particular environment as every organization is going to have multiple environments before they are going to roll out the application into the production environment so this is what i wanted to show you in this video uh, very quickly Thank you all. Thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.